Hey guys, there's a couple things I wanted to show you today. First is my new T17 first edition PSA 9. Got from my friend Alex. This one doesn't have a swirl on it, but first edition PSA 9, this one was bought for $1,200. Obviously that first one I got was a steal. The first one I got was from, you know, a lot. Um, it was just every single one of the starters uh, evolutions. You know, so this has T17, T18, for alligators four and five, and the meganium is ten eleven. That I got for ten thousand, or I'm sorry, one thousand fifty dollars. Uh, and this first edition PSA nine alone was twelve hundred dollars. And since then, a buddy of mine got an offer for two thousand dollars for one of these. So we know that this price right now is about two thousand uh, dollars. And I have two of them, which is great. Uh, there's only I think one hundred and thirty PSA nine copies in the pop report. That might go up. Uh, because there's so much growth of this recently, and because the 10 is worth so much, it's worth so much money, 10 grand minimum, uh, that was the last price point, uh, and who knows what it might be now, uh, this card has a lot of room for growth still, I think. Uh, moving on past that, another thing I got from mail today was a, there was a, these guys got like 1200 or best offer, and it was for the the packs, I don't know if anyone's seen these, what you can do is you could grade packs. You could have Neogenesis packs and you can get them graded. I don't know how or why they get 10s. I don't even know if you'll see on right there, maybe there might be a little whitening on the edge because of the way that's creased back. You know, that one's a little more lax. That one is not. So I think if someone were to open these, I, I they, they might have a little edge wear on it already. So it comes in all four artworks. Um, you have the Lugia, and then you're going to have the other three starters. So these I all got in PSA 10, and there's only 22 of each of these. I'll show you each artwork in the PSA 10 form. So they all, I'll get first edition, they're all PSA 10, and they, they all have the uh, each each artwork on there for the evolution, and they all have that great signature pose, but the reason why I think this was these are special and these are pretty rare is because you have only a small amount of these in the pop report. 22 for each of them except for Meganium. Meganium only has 20. And the fact that I got it for 925, uh, I got it for much less than 300. It was like two two thirty one point twenty five uh per pack, which is great. Um, and those I'll keep for ever. I, I don't know, a long time. So moving on to some sales data, or before I do, please like, please subscribe, please comment, let's grow the hobby, let's try to make uh, Pokemon a part of everyone's daily lives. Uh, so going over some sales data, and what you guys might need to do to make some money, is out of Erica's Venusaur, first edition, PSA 9, sold for 154 at auction. You know, that's why I was buying them up at 120, 130, and knew there's a lot of room for growth. Uh, Kangaskhan, first edition, PSA 8, Fossil, again, these are hollow. Uh, sold for $37. Jim Heroes, um, it was a pack. It was, uh, Erica was the artwork. First edition PSA 10, so like these, it was a pack. That sold for $145. Jim Heroes, not as in demand as the Neo Genesis set, but even still, they still sell. Slow King, first edition PSA 9, sold for $356. New price point for that, uh, Slow King. Uh, I think people noticing because there's not a lot of PSA 10 Slow Kings, that 9 also has room to grow, so that's probably undervalued right now as well. Neo Genesis, uh, Metal Energy, first edition PSA 9, uh, sold for 40 bucks. I think that's undervalued also because the Metal Energy that I saw sell the other day sold for like a thousand bucks, PSA 10. So 9 definitely has much, much room to grow. This one, ah, oh, this one I should have got in on. It was a... Neo Genesis uh, Slow King again, but the Slow King that they had, it had an unlimited one, and then it also had a first edition copy. They were raw, and they looked good. Minimum eight, but I, I don't even want to say it. They both look like strong nines. Very, very strong nines, maybe even tens. Uh, again, I know PSA has been harsh about it lately, but they looked amazing. Uh, and that sold for a meager, what is it? I, I don't even see it anymore. That's Saluting me. So for a meager $43. $43. Oh my god. That should should have been triple. 
Anyway, uh, moving on past that, we had a uh, Neo Genesis Kingdra, first edition PSA 8, sold for $28. We had a Feraligator, first edition PSA 8, it was number 4, so the one that is a little easier to grade, a uh, little bit more common, that uh, sold for 69 Nice. Uh, we had a Pichu from Neo Genesis set, first edition PSA 9, sold for $255. I think that's a new record price point for Pichu. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, another Typhlosion 17. First edition. Raw. I, I would have given that a 7. Maybe a week 8, but I, I definitely would have given that a 7. Good quality card. Um, that that Raw copy sold for $215. Second bid was $212. Uh, third bid was $173. The guy that won the auction mentioned it on E4. And he said that he bought that specifically just for a binder set. Looks great. Had a little bit of edge wear and whitening on the back. Uh, enough so where that it would give it, you know, a, a 7. And the reason he got that is not to resell. It's, for, it's just for a binder of his. And beautiful card. So if an, if a raw card, probably in PSA 7, sells for 215 then the last one that sold for 295 which is a PSA 8, that's a little undervalued as well. That that should that should probably be uh, you know a hundred or two you know above that because if the price point for the nine this one without the swirl sold for twelve hundred again by me or not by me I bought it from the guy twelve hundred and you know a buddy of mine got an offer for two thousand uh, then then the eight should definitely definitely reflect that price point as well um, moving on we had a Blastoise, first edition PSA 9. I saw this when it was first out. Like, it was like, um, you know, auction or best offer. So you could give him best offer before any bids were in. And you could see if he would take it. And I was just like, uh, I don't know, it's British. I'm throwing over 500, 800, 1100. You know, I just go incrementally see. And then it just said, nah, I was like, all right, you know, I'll see what I can get it for at auction. Thinking, I think the last one sold for like 12 or 1300. I was like, maybe I can get it for like 11. Maybe no one will notice it, because I, I, the guy didn't have, he didn't sell a lot of cards, so I was like, alright, maybe no one sees it and no one notices, but um, because there's so much growth in the hobby, again, the last one sold for twelve or 1300 this one sold for sixteen forty nine. So much growth, and that's someone that, I don't think it was auctioned too well, uh, it put it in on a weird time, ended at a weird time, and phew, still got a record price point. Congrats on that. Uh, Raichu uh, from the Fossil Set, first edition PSA 9, sold for 81 bucks. So that's all the uh, thing I have for sales today. But again, so also, guys, be advised that if you don't think a card is worth something, again, go use my formula. Use the math uh, on it, and you could judge whether, regardless of what people are paying for the card, be like, oh, okay, you know, the five to eight, 10 selling for five day time, you know, that makes sense. But if, if a 10 is selling for you know, 10, ooh, uh, you know, 10 times, 10, you, anything above 10 times, more than what the 9 selling, 9's undervalued. Um, if the 9 is selling, if the 10 is only selling for like 2 times what the 9 is selling for, the 10 is undervalued. Uh, so this right here, even at $1,200, that is 8 points, uh, the 10 would be selling for like 8.3 times as much as the nine so that still at the lower end of normal or i'm sorry the upper end of normal um if it were to sell for there, there's two up on ebay right now one's for 2500 which i think is probably a fair price point the other is four thousand dollars now four thousand dollars yeah it's a lot that is a lot but if we're going based on what the 10 is worth minimum 10 grand and uh, the, the guy has a 4,000 or best offer. I know someone, they had bid like, oh, like 1,500, two grand, like whatever, and it was auto declined. So I don't know what that person has as far as the bottom offer. But doing the math, you know, on the, on the high end, like I said, that 1,200 that this one sold for, the 10 is still selling worth 8.3 times as much as a nine. But Three thousand three hundred and thirty-three dollars. That lower end is three. I think that's fair. If I, that, again, that's the lower end of normal, and you know that ten would grow. But 
if someone were to pay $3,300, then that's okay. That works out within the formula. So someone's saying, like, people were on E4 just basically crying. It's like, oh, some people are pulling this up for way too much money. It's it's not, you know, this isn't worth it. It's not worth $4,000. People just trying to flip. And, dude, no, this is, maybe, maybe some people are trying to flip, you know, get, buy whatever. Um, but as per the last price point, I put up a, a bid on there or a want to buy saying like, Hey, last one sold for $1,200. I'll, I'll, you know, that was on eBay. Do it over here without fees, you know, on, on E4 message me, I'll give you 1100 for it right now. Cash. Uh, no, nobody bid on, nobody you know, took me up on the offer because, because of the two that are on eBay right now for four grand, 2,500. And they probably just like, you know what? We'll see if that goes first. I might get an offer in the next, uh, you know, week or so if nobody else bids on those, on those. But then someone can scoop that twenty five hundred up. I don't know who it'll be. Um, but anyway, that's my video for today. Um, people are gonna buy what they buy, and you could have someone come into the hobby that just thoroughly loves that card, and because they can't get the ten, and and even if the ten is not that they don't have ten thousand dollars to say they're a millionaire, but because some people they just don't sell. Like if you have this card in a ten copy, and and there's and there's ten copies out there or nine copies, like they're they're not going to sell. The same way I don't sell my trophy Kangaskhan, because it, even if someone would offer me twenty thousand dollars for it, you know I paid ninety eight hundred. I'd be like, listen, I don't know if I'll ever be able to get another copy of that. Be, not because I can't buy another one for twenty. Or, or 30 grand, not because of one of the money, but some people just don't sell. Some people just have it and like, this is a piece of history. This is beautiful artwork. It's unique. And it is one of the most sought after cards in the hobby. You know, you, you could offer them $100,000 for uh, uh, like a PSA 6 and they'll be like, no, I, I can't. And I don't blame them. <laughs> this is a piece of art, that trophy Kangas Khan. So, um, opportunity happens when preparedness and luck happens when opportunity and preparedness meet something like that i actually forget the phrase but uh if you have an opportunity sometimes you got to go for it because i guarantee you whoever whoever buys that a uh, copy for twenty five hundred dollars if they buy it right now guarantee you in two years they will have made money on it because that will that will have gone up because that that 10 will go up Again, you heard it here first, but again, just my prediction. Um, obviously, I don't know. I don't have crystal ball, but uh, I'm, I'm just saying that right now. As someone who studied the hobby for a long time, going deep into the numbers, deep, deep into the numbers, like I don't think anyone has done before. Uh, anyway, guys, that's for me. I have to, I put my other one in the bank, and I have to put this one in the bank as well on Monday. So um, anything over $1,000, I always put in the bank. Um, so that is me right now. All right, guys. I love you. I'll see you all later. Goodbye. Patreon, please.